Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of War Machines Season 3.1. So, featured here is Semi-Final J, which is the last semi-final episode of this series before we get to determining the five wildcard spots that will still be up for- that will be up for grabs into the grand final bracket. So, this episode then will feature the last eight robots that, uh, that made it out of their heat and will be looking to fight for another spot in the grand final bracket. So, lots of big names are in here, and so we got lots of action coming. But this is bound to, this will possibly be a little bit of a longer episode because at the end of this video, we're gonna, we're gonna, re we're going to review the results of the 10 semifinals and determine the six six robots that got fourth place in their semi-final bracket who will get another chance and will fight with all the robots who were awarded third place in that bracket which will start in the next episode. Seedings will not be revealed for that but they will be at the beginning of the next episode. Yeah, before we get to that, before we get to any of those brackets, we still have a semi-final episode left to do. We still have another we still have a grand final spot left to determine. So, let's go ahead and check out the bracket of the eight robots that will be in this episode. So, given the top seat, we have Electric Boogaloo and that nasty vertical spinner right there, who absolutely decimated Gripper in their opening round matchup in order to secure their spot in here. They're definitely going to be one to watch out for, and Wheelie Big Cheese is going to be their opponent for this one, with a powerful flipper that had a relatively solid performance against Gravity, but did not come out with a winner in that matchup but then had a tough fight in the Redemption Rumbles, but did come out on top over Storm 2 and UFO. Then we're gonna go to the other side of the bracket where we have the two-seated Shunt, House Robot from Robot Wars, who got a very quick victory over Storm 2, made quick work of that robot in order to get to this point. Taking on Shunt will be Salad Tosser, where it's been a roller coaster of a season for Salad Tosser. Started off with a little bit of an embarrassing loss to Eric in that and their flipper, but then came out on top, really redeemed themselves with a really solid performance in their rumble with Supernova and Gripper in order to get to this spot. So, Salatos is another one to not underestimate. Right below that, we have the three seed, which was given to Gravity, who won the flip off with Wheelie Big Cheese in order to get to this point. Taking on Gravity will be Maelstrom, who got a who got a judge's decision victory over Supernova with their pretty solid durability and that flipper, of course. It's an interesting design here. It should be an interesting flipper showdown. Then on the other side of the bracket, given the four seed, we have Ripper and that very powerful flipper, which managed to get get the victory and win the flip off with UFO in order to get to this point. Ripper's definitely another one to watch out for, but of course the one, the other one you gotta watch out for in that matchup, Eric and that flipper. Eric pulled off a stunning victory in the opening round over Salad Tosser at, to get to this point, and Eric's definitely been proving throughout this channel's history that you do not want to underestimate that robot. Because as soon as, as soon as you underestimate that robot, they'll just pop you right out of the arena or something like that. But so yeah, we have four great matchups on the way. A lot to look forward to here. I'd say let's go ahead and get this underway and get figure out this grand final spot. And we're gonna lead it off with the two seed Shunt, who's gonna take on the seven seated Salad Tosser. It's gonna be interesting to see how the house robot fares because in previous seasons of War Machines, well, previous episodes, like. We saw Matilda go down brutally to two spinners, and last season, both Shunt and Matilda went down to damaging weapons here, and taking on Shunt is a damaging weapon in Salad Tosser's drum spinner. So it's going to be interesting to see how Shunt holds up. So this one's going to come down to, can Salad Tosser get the hits they're looking for? Can they avoid that hammer? Because Salad Tosser has definitely proven to be vulnerable to weapons like a hammer as well, so... Whoever can dish out the damaging blows first and st stacks up the damage on their opponent is probably going to be the one to come out on top in this one. 
I think it's time to get this one underway. I think let's go ahead and get right to this one. Time for this match to begin. And, and both robots going head on. Shunt getting tripped up. And now Salad Tosser's underneath, landing some hits with that drum spinner to start this one off. The underdog off to a great start in this one. But Salad Tosser definitely had a. It had a disappointing opening round matchup, but a solid redemption match. So let's see what what version of Salad Tosser we're going to see here. Right now, Shunt's been landing hit after hit with that hammer. How much damage has they been doing? Looks to be minimal right now. It looks like that drum spinner has been doing well. Oh, like knocking that arm back so the hammer has a harder time hitting. There's a flip by Shunt and a strike to the underside right there. That's definitely not what Salad Tosser wants, but right now they're crawling up the front of Shunt and now taking hit after hit from that hammer so far. But now Salad Tosser underneath Shunt right now. This is where Salad Tosser wants to be because they can't they can't take hits in the hammer. Now Shunt is flipped over, but Salad Tosser comes in for more here and takes Shunt into the rails right now. Shunt's got a self-right, but I don't think it can. I don't think they can self-right when they're flipped over here. But right now, Salad Tosser doing mincemeat to the underside of, of Shunt right now. It's like part of a wheel just came off too right now. Luckily, I think Shunt does have Omni wheels, so they are able to drive on both sides. Now they won't be able to drive on both sides because I see an entire wheel just came off right there. And off comes the other entire wheel. Shunt has now lost drive on both sides. I think the underdog is going to pull this off. Salad Tosser pushing Shunt towards the pit and knocking Shunt down the pit. Looks like this fight hasn't been called off yet. So, But here comes Salad Tosser trying to knock Shunt all the way down the pit. As that might be why this fight hasn't been called off yet. But still not called off here. But Salad Tosser is using that as a reason to just come in for more right now. Off comes the front scoop right there. And now here comes a few more hits from the countdown is going on Shunt right now. Even though it definitely looks like it's going to be all over for Shunt here. And that's going to do it right there. And the house robot falls. And Salad Tosser, the underdog, the robot that came out of the Redemption Rumbles, advances in this one. That was, that was a great showdown here. And it definitely proved that Salad Tosser, whatever issue they were having in that fight with Eric, they managed to fake, sort out that thing and definitely provided provided a heck of a show for us here as definitely showed that that drum spinner is still very lethal and definitely they are definitely a robot to watch out for still regardless of their seating and performances so far this season so that was a great win by salad tosser they will advance to the next round where they will take on the winner of our next match which features Gravity and Maelstrom. We always love a good flipper battle here. We've seen a lot of them this season, and we've seen some great ones so far. And I suspect this one's probably going to be no different than the last one. So what this one's probably going to come down to is ground game. Who is the lower to the ground flipper here? Because I imagine these two are probably going to be testing the other's wedges. And if whoever's not the lower to ground robot, can they outdrive the one who's lower? But... Yeah, regardless though, we got another interesting match coming. I'd say let's get right to this one. Time for this match to begin here. And Maelstrom gets underneath Gravity to start this one. A couple nice flips right there. Gravity's got to recover and get some breathing room. Nice couple of flips from Maelstrom here. Great start from that robot so far. Or, and... And now Gravity coming in there, landing a flip of their own right there. Another nice flip, getting a little bit li little lift right there. Not the power that we're used to seeing out of Gravity so far. But right now they have Maelstrom against the rails right now. A couple more nice flips. Get out of there, Maelstrom. Home right now, because I think Gravity's going for the out of the arena. And just misses the out of the arena right there. But now Maelstrom stuck once again. Here comes Gravity once again, trying to get the out of the arena, just misses again, but they're not going to miss that time, and that's going to do it for Maelstrom, Gravity advances. Lots of these matches will come down to who can get the first hit. That was definitely not Gravity at the beginning of this one, because Maelstrom off to a spectacular start in this one, 
uh, proving they were the lower to the ground flipper and tossed gravity around but right when gravity got those few seconds of breathing room they caught one of the sides of maelstrom started landing a bunch of flips of their own and eventually got the out of the arena and which helped them win this fight great victory by gravity we will see gravity in the next round and coming up next we're going to go to the top. We're going to see the one-seated Electric Boogaloo, who's going to take on the eight-seated Wheelie Big Cheese. Yeah, so Wheelie Big Cheese's strategy, how can that robot win this fight? I guarantee it's probably going to be avoid that vertical spinner at all costs. Because we've seen what that vertical spinner is capable of. Breaker Box is one of the most durable robots in the field. And Electric Boogaloo has beaten that robot not once, but twice. And the second time, it completely ripped off the frame of that robot. So, Electric Boogaloo is definitely a robot to watch out for here. Wheelie Big Cheese is cer certainly going to want to try to get in out of the arena as soon as possible in this one. But how's it going to fare against one of the most dangerous vertical spinners, who's surely going to try to going to try to catch an edge on on Wheelie Big Cheese and send them flying and hopefully destroy them. So, but. This one should be another interesting showdown. I'd say let's go ahead and get right to this matchup. Okay, here we go. And a little a little jab right there, there by Electric Boogaloo right now. And a big hit by Electric Boogaloo right there that sends Wheelie Big Cheese flying. But now Wheelie Big Cheese getting underneath. And they land a nice flip of their own. Another nice flip by Wheelie Big Cheese. And another nice flip that, that's sending Electric Boogaloo back, but looks like Electric Boogaloo landing a big hit right there. And another big hit that sends Wheelie Big Cheese flying. Another huge hit that loses part of the flipper right there. Wheelie Big Cheese is starting to come apart, and they lose a wheel in the process. This is not going so well for Wheelie Big Cheese, and off comes the rest of the flipper right now. Wheelie Big Cheese is now in pieces right now. And they need to do something fast, but not anymore, because that's going to do it for this one. And Electric Boogaloo wins it in less than a minute. When I said that, that that vertical spinner is dangerous, I think that is evidence enough that I was not kidding about that. We saw a few nice flips early on from Wheelie Big Cheese, but right when Electric Boogaloo found their mojo and found the opportunities, they hunted Wheelie Big Cheese, and Wheelie Big Cheese probably got more air time within those couple of hits than what Electric Boogaloo got from taking some of those flips from Wheelie Big Cheese. Regardless though, oh, that was a statement victory by Electric Boogaloo. We will see them in the next round where they are going to take on the winner of our final matchup of this round, which features Eric and Ripper, another flipper battle. So basically, like I said, like I've said a, a few times already, we always love a good flipper battle, and surely this is, uh, and surely we got two decent flippers here. This one's once again going to come down to ground game, and who can maybe get the out of the arena? Because we saw, because uh, so many of our flipper battles so far this season have ended in out of the arenas, and both these robots are pro are almost certainly capable of getting an out of the arena like that, but. Regardless, though, we have an entertaining showdown coming, I think. Let's determine who is going to be taking on Electric Boogaloo in the next round. Who has a date with that robot? Let's get right to this one. Time for this match to begin here. Both robots being in the middle. Ripper getting the early flip. But now Eric finding their mojo and getting a few opportunities and landing a flip right there. There. Interesting go, interesting start right now. Now these two robots clashing it out head on. Ripper lands a nice flip right there that flips Eric over, and Eric is right now in the corner right now. Here comes Ripper's right on them right now. Eric trying to self write through that interesting self writing system. So far, it is not working out for them right now. But that nice flip from Ripper, another nice flip once again, and and continuing to toss Eric around. Nice flip from Eric right there who managed to get the opportunity and get underneath Ripper. And Eric now having Ripper pinned and tossing Ripper out of the arena right there. Eric pulls it off and will advance to the next round. Bravo to Eric right there. 
definitely. Well, Ripper as well, because that was an entertaining showdown. Back and forth once again. Ripper definitely had the more shining moments, I felt, because they gave Eric some serious airtime every time they got underneath that robot. But then Eric proved it is not over yet, because they get found a few opportunities to get some flips of their own, and, and it ended up being Ripper out of the arena. We will see Eric in the next round, where they have a date with the, one of the nastiest vertical spinners. They held up well against one of the most powerful drum spinners in the opening round. Can they hold up well against Electric Boogaloo, the top seed, who's definitely going to be an interesting challenge for them? Either way, great victory by Eric. Sadly, we'll have to say goodbye to Ripper and all the other robots that did not make it out of the first round. Hopefully, we'll get to see them all in a bonus fight, because they've definitely put up some really entertaining shows for us all. Yeah, so that'll do it for round one. In the next round, we're going to have a battle between the one and the five seed, Electric Boogaloo and Eric. And then on the other side, we're going to have a battle between the three and the seven seed of Gravity and Salad Tosser. Those two matchups should be interesting, and I imagine we're going to have some big stuff coming. Let's go ahead and go over to the, to the three and the seven seed, where we're going to have that matchup first. We're going to see Gravity versus Salad Tosser. So... So yeah, what this one's going to come down to is Gravity's almost certainly going to want to try to keep the front of that flipper pointed towards Salad Tosser. Because that because their one weak point on that robot, well their big weak point on there are those wheels right there. They do have a little bit of protection with those wheel covers, but I'm sure Salad Tosser could definitely rip right through that stuff if they get the opportunity. So it's better to prevent it's better to prevent salad tosser from getting there in the first place anyway so yeah that'll definitely make life easier for gravity but as for salad tosser they're gonna want to try to get to those wheels on the sides and i think whoever managed is to outdrive the opponent and succeed at that will win this fight we got another good showdown on the way let's get right to this one Time for this match to begin here. And now, Salatoz a little bit of a gyro. Nice flip from Gravity right there. A couple nice flips. And now Salad Tosser currently being flipped into the corner right now. Good start from Gravity so far here. And yeah, charging in there once again. Salad Tosser now getting some shots on the underside of Gravity. Despite being flipped over. And now Salad Tosser right side up. But now getting underneath Gravity. They caught an edge right there. They're now at the sides and the underside. Off come a couple wheel covers right there. Both those wheels are now exposed on Gravity right now. But Salad Tosser pushing and hitting Gravity towards, towards the arena rails. But not going to go for the eye of the arena. Because they're not moving away from those. But a couple more nice hits from Salad Tosser. Nice flip from Gravity. But now a wheel comes off. Oh, Gravity has lost a wheel and is now driving this on one side, but not anymore because now they are out of the arena and that is going to do it for this fight. Salad Tosser, another dominant victory for the most part. Once again, Gravity, good start to this fight anyway. Got some really solid flips in there, but then it wasn't enough because right when Salad Tosser started playing some hits, they were relentless, prevented Gravity from getting any breathing room, knocked off one of those wheels and the defenses for the other one, and then eventually punted Gravity all the way out of the arena, and we will see Salad Tosser in tonight's final, where they will have a rematch coming. The question is, like, because both robots on the other side have beaten Salad Tosser, either this season or in a past season. Will Salad Tosser get a rematch with Electric Boogaloo, who finished off their War Machine Season 2 run last season? Or are they going to get a rematch with Eric from the opening round? Either way, though, I think we better find out whose Gravity is going to have a second date with in the arena. So, yeah. Next up will be the 1 seed Electric Boogaloo and the 5 seed Eric. Eric's definitely been one of the surprises this season so far. Started off with a victory over Salad Tosser, and then eventually came out with a victory over the powerful flipper of Ripper. So, but then on the other side, we have Electric Boogaloo, who has also been relentless themselves with that vertical spinner. 
I think this one's going to come down to, can Electric Boogaloo get the shots they need, do the damage they need? I think if they can succeed at that, I think this fight is theirs. But if Eric controls this fight with that flipper, maybe gets an out of the arena right there, we're going to see Eric taking on Salatosser in the second round. Can Eric pull it off once again, or will the top dog advance? Let's go ahead and get right to this showdown. Time for this match to begin here. And now, an early flip by Eric, though. Another flip from Eric. Eric starting it off with the advantage, winning the ground game so far, but gotta be very cautious. We saw, we saw a little chip right there from Electric Boogaloo's spinner before getting a couple nice flips and almost got the out of the arena. Another almost out of the arena attempt right there. Very close calls by Electric Boogaloo there as they are taking a few more flips from Eric right now. But Eric has to be careful right now because that still is a lethal vertical spinner couple more nice flips and that's what i was talking about because that flipper is gone eric has lost their weapon for the rest of the fight and will need to resort to pushing electric boogaloo around controlling this match denying that vertical spinner from connecting on their robot and right now eric's doing a solid job avoiding the spinner but how long will that last so you're only a minute into this fight there's a lot of ground and a nice hit right there from Electric Boogaloo. Didn't seem to do much, though. So, yeah, a minute into this fight, Eric had a great start to this. But then Electric Boogaloo disabled that weapon for the remainder of the fight here. And that could be a serious game changer here. But right now, Electric Boogaloo is struggling to take advantage of this right now. The Spike's getting involved. And now Eric underneath Electric Boogaloo and pushing them into a corner right now. Electric Boogaloo's got to get out of there and do something fast. Despite being the one with a weapon here, they can win this fight, but maybe not now, because now they are starting to land some hits on Eric. Eric. And a big hit that almost sends Eric out of the arena. Eric trying to self-right, but struggling to do so with that self-righter there. And now Eric right side up once again here. Electric Boogaloo trying to get underneath once again, but really struggling to do so. But there we go. The Spice got involved and set Eric up for a big hit right there. Electric Boogaloo has him right by the backside right now. Good stuff from him, Electric Boogaloo there, who's catching up on points here. One minute left to go in this match. It's hard to tell who's winning this fight because both of them have had some great moments. But now Electric Boogaloo has Eric in the corner right now. Laying a few more big hits and Eric self ray going crazy and off comes the frame. I think that might have been the turning point of this match. I think the top seed may be taking over this fight now. Because that now Eric is very much exposed like everywhere and continuing to take more hits. But they are surviving. Man, Eric the Meme Robot, they that robot can survive fights. That is incredible. Big hit, and that does it for the control board right there. Eric is down, and Electric Boogaloo and will have a rematch coming with Salad Tosser coming later tonight. Man, that was, that was an interesting showdown, I would say. Because originally it was looking like Eric might have a great shot and might be able to pull this one off. But it definitely was not enough because eventually Electric Boogaloo ripped off that flipper. And eventually started just hitting them around the arena, starting to dish out more and more damage. Which definitely hurt their chances of winning that fight, unfortunately. But uh, either way though, that was a great showing from Eric and... Definitely another destructive performance from Electric Boogaloo. We're going to see Electric Boogaloo in the next round where they have a rematch of Salad Tosser from last season coming. Electric Boogaloo won that first showdown. Can they win the second one as well? Because Salad Tosser is surely going to be coming and looking for revenge in that one. Great showing. We're going to see Eric take on Gravity in our next matchup to determine who will get a spot in that third place bracket, who will get an automatic spot. And who will be one of those, who will get that last spot out of those 10 robots looking for a wild card into that third place bracket. At least that's going to be the losing robot. So, yeah, Gravity and Eric have both put up impressive resumes so far. Both had solid performances in their first two matches and then came up just short in their recent match as for victory here. So, 
we're going to see these two clash it out here for one for a spot in the third place bracket while the losing robot's going to be looking in a hunt for a wild card which will be announced at the end of this episode probably enough of that i'd say let's go ahead and get to this fight and check out who's going to take who's going to win on this this next flipper battle we've seen a lot of those this episode Here we go now, both robots being in the middle, and Gravity lands the first flip right there. Eric trying to get underneath, but Gravity is denying that from happening here. Here, and Gravity pushing Eric around. Eric finally gets free after backing up a little ways, and Gravity trying to get underneath and struggling to do so in this one. Now Eric underneath, landing up some flips of their own here. Good start from both robots here. Right now, Eric now has gravity against the rails, landing a bunch of nice flips of their own in this one. And so, 30 seconds into this fight, it's already been pretty back and forth, but Eric's been landing more flips so far right now. And now, gravity lands a nice flip right there. It looked like Eric was about to get underneath, but that was not the case. Gravity ended up being the one to get underneath. Now, gravity landing a bunch of big flips of their own and almost getting Eric out of the arena right there and saved them right there, because I think Eric was stuck. Eric almost getting flipped down the pit, just misses though, and yeah, one minute into this fight, regardless though, and yeah, and now Eric lands, an lands another flip of their own in this one, and the spikes get involved and strike gravity, and big action right there, not sure exactly what that was, and the spikes help Eric self-right right there, after they got flipped over by whatever the heck that was. Nice flip from Gravity once again, who's now pinning Eric against the rails, but now Eric self-writing thing, and watch out for that open pit right there. Here, could we see a robot fall down it? A couple more nice flips from Gravity here, uh, who's just tossing Eric around in this one. I think it's safe to say we're a little over a minute left to go in this fight. Gravity is probably in the lead in this one, but probably not by much because Eric's had some great moments of their own so far. A few more beautiful flips right there, giving Eric a serious amount of airtime. But Gravity's been flipping themselves quite a bit this fight. That's something to definitely watch out for. Wonder if there's an error in that flipper or something like that. Right now, Eric now getting some opportunities and getting underneath Gravity so far, and no real damage so far. But Eric is closer to control board in this one. So, yeah. A couple more nice flips from Eric. Another nice flip right there. Showing some excellent control here. A little over 30 seconds left to go in this match. And definitely I would say gravity is on top. But like I said, not by much in this one. Because Eric's definitely been laying a bunch of great flips of their own so far. A little over 20 seconds left to go here. Nice flip from gravity. Putting Eric right back into the corner. And almost got Eric clean out of the arena right there. And yeah. We're now at the 10 second mark here. And unless we see something drastic happen, I think we are going to see our very first such decision of the night. But off getting some wheel covers right there. That's like the first big piece of damage right there. And it was caused by Eric and their flipper right there. Definitely a decent way to end the fight for Eric. But was it enough to overtake all the points Gravity got from flipping Eric throughout that match? So yeah, that is our first judge's decision of the night. All the other fights ended in knockouts. And this one's definitely going to be a little bit of a difficult one to call. Because like, definitely like three quarters of this match featured Gravity flipping Eric for a fat like 75 to 80% of it or something like that. I don't know exactly what percentile, but I don't really care enough to find out. So, but, but then during those last... 15 seconds eric got a few flips of their own and then eventually knocked off those two wheel covers which definitely showed some signs of damage but then eric also took some damage themselves because you could see it because if you were watching the fight and paying attention to it eric was getting close to control board as well so gravity should definitely get some credit in the damage category too but either way though i think this is gonna be an interesting judge's decision to call here definitely a difficult one and let's go ahead and find out who is going to clinch their spot in the third place bracket and who is going to be on the hunt for a wild card spot. So yeah, the judges' votes are in, and we have a unanimous decision. The winner is... Gravity!
Okay, that was, was a very close one to call. I could definitely see arguments for why some might feel Eric might have taken that one, but Gravity will definitely take. That was a fair take it. That was a very even fight. I think Eric has definitely put together a great resume, but we're gonna have to see what the selection committee has to say about that. Because there are nine other robots who are also looking for a wild card spot along with Eric, and lots of them have put together great resumes as well. We're going to find out at the end of the episode whether Eric is one of those six robots who is going to join the ten robots that features Gravity as one of them in that third place bracket, which will be starring in the next episode. But before we find out who gets those wildcard spots, we have a final to determine, where the winner of that fight will get a spot in the grand final bracket. It is a rematch from last season between Electric Boogaloo and Salad Tosser. So, yeah. yeah. So, basically the plan for this one, the game plan is surely going to be who can land the better hits and who can stack up damage on the other quickly. Now, that is definitely what got Electric Boogaloo the victory when they fought the first time, but how will Salad Tosser's game plan change from when these two fought the first time? Regardless, though, this should be an interesting fight. Hopefully you enjoyed the scenes that that I put in right down below of their their fight from last season, if you need a reminder of what happened in that showdown. But yeah, regardless though, I think we got a great final coming. This is a great rematch to have, and let's find out oh let's find out what happens here. Because Electric Boot Salad Tosser is definitely gonna be going for revenge in this one and try to overtake Electric Boogaloo. Can they accomplish that task? Or will Electric Boogaloo have a 2-0 record against Salad Tosser by the end of this fight. Let's get right to this one. Time for this match to begin here, and some early weapon-on-weapon -weapon action, and Salad Tosser winning the brunt of that so far, laying a few nice hits to the backside, Electric Boogaloo getting some breathing room right there. And coming in for more weapon-on-weapon -weapon action. Nice hit from Electric Boogaloo there. Couple nice hits. Now they have Salad Tosser flipped over and up against the rails. Nice hit from Electric Boogaloo right there. A few more weapon-on-weapon -weapon actions. And they're winning the run to those at least. So a couple more nice hits right there from Electric Boogaloo's Vert right there. But now Salad Tosser flipped over. More weapon-on-weapon -weapon action. Beautiful hit from Electric Boogaloo right there. They're grinding away at each other, these two robots right now. No major damage so far, but that could very easily change. Back and forth fight so far. Our nice hit from Electric Boogaloo once again, flipping Salad Tosser over once again. And yeah, minute into this fight, great showdown so far. But Electric Boogaloo appears to be off balance right now. I think their vertical spinner lost a tooth or something. Because here comes Salad Tosser now looking to take advantage of that. The vertical spinner is now off on Electric Boogaloo right now. Electric Boogaloo has lost their weapon. And right now, really struggling against the drum spinner. Off comes a wheel as well. Salad Tosser is now taking apart Electric Boogaloo. And off comes the drum spinner of Salad Tosser. What the heck have we seen happen in those last 30 seconds right there? Both robots have now lost their weapon. But you gotta say Salad Tosser has an advantage for the rest of their match because they still have drive on both sides. While on the other hand, Electric Boogaloo lost a wheel earlier in this match. So, big trouble for Electric Boogaloo here. And right now, uh, temporarily underneath, but wasn't able to do much with it because they only have drive on one side right now, on one tire. Here. And right now, we have about a minute left to go. I'd say a Salad Tosser took over and could be ready to claim victory in this one. But don't count out Electric Boogaloo yet in this one because we have seen robots come back from stuff like this in the past. 50 seconds left to go here in this one. This is a wild showdown here. A wild turn of events in this rematch between these two. What a great showdown. And now, oh, Salad Tosser has Electric Boogaloo in the corner right now. Is Salad Tosser who lost their opening round matchup, going to take this one and advance to the grand final. Well, after coming out of the Redemption Rumbles, it is possible, but it's been a great resume for Salad Tosser here regardless. 20 seconds left to go in this match right now. Well, Electric Boogaloo might need a knockout in my eyes, because right now Salad Tosser has been controlling almost the entirety of this match ever since both robots lost their weapon. Eight seconds left to go in this match right now. 
Oh, and Sal Tosser knocks Electric Boogaloo down the pit, says screw you to the judges, I want to win this one by a knockout, and Sal Tosser has secured revenge in this one. Well done by Sal Tosser, knocking Electric Boogaloo down the pit at the last second and securing their spot in the grand final as well as a little payback from the robot who defeated them last season. Yeah, so this one started off with a lot of weapon on weapon action, some favored Electric Boogaloo and some favored Salad Tosser. It was going to come down to who was going to be the victim of that first piece of damage, and sure enough, that was Electric Boogaloo, who lost a tooth on their vertical spinner, or a little bit, not probably around closer to the halfway point, then eventually lost the entire vertical spinner, a tire, and then Salad Tosser lost their drum spinner which resorted to the pushing match that we saw for those for that last minute of the match. And Salatosser won that push battle definitely on the fact that they still had two wheels and definitely gave Electric Boogaloo a hard time and eventually pushed Electric Boogaloo down the pit and with there being less than five seconds left on the clock in order to secure their victory in this match. Great victory by Salatosser, who is definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with when they take on whoever their next opponent is in the Grand Final. We will see Electric Boogaloo in the second place bracket, which will be coming soon, but we have two episodes coming before we get to that bracket, which will determine the five wildcard spots. So, enough of that. Let's go ahead and review the stuff from, yeah, the semifinals so far. So, so yeah, you see the chart here. We got all we got all ten groups and who were the top four placements in order right there. So all the robots in that first place column right there featuring Eruption, Hades, Carbide, Sewer Snake, Swarm, Apollo, Last Rites, Iron All 7, Neutron, and tonight's winner Salad Tosser. All ten of those robots will be joining Iron All 2.1 in this season's grand final bracket. But there are five spots up for grabs. Five more spots needed before we can start that bracket. Those will come from the second place bracket, featuring the ten robots there. But joining those ten robots in that bracket will be six robots from the third place bracket right there. The top six in that bracket will get to that point and take on those ten runner-ups right there. I'm not going to list out all the names, that take too much time. But joining those ten third place robots will be six robots from the fourth place bracket there. So, between those ten robots, six of them were selected to get a spot in that third place bracket based on their performance so far this season. Basically their performance th is throughout their fight and who basically whoever showed the most potential throughout their, their four matches so far in order to get a spot in there, earn a second chance. I think let's go ahead and announce those wildcard spots and determine who is going to be joining Tsunami, Beta, Noisy Cricket, Beast 2, Shredderator, Big Nipper, Bullfrog, Micro, Chronic, and Gravity in the third place bracket which will start in the next episode. Seedings will not be revealed until the next episode, but those 10 robots in the third place section will be the top 10 seeds while the wildcards will be the bottom 6. So as for the wildcards. So, wild cards went to Aftershock, Eric, Foxic, Lucid Dream, Megabyte, and Steel Avenger. Those six robots will join that that list of third place robots into the into that bracket right there, and will fight it out with those robots in for a spot. In the second place bracket, we will fight it out for a spot in the grand final. We got four episodes to determine. We'll have four episodes, which will be used to determine those five wild card spots. And then we're going to get to the bracket that I'm sure a lot of you have been looking forward to. The grand final bracket, which will determine the champion of War Machine Season 3.1. So, yeah, look to next episode where we will start that third place bracket. And the, and the seedings will be announced right there. A lot of entertaining fights are going because if you think if you think we've seen a lot of entertaining fights so far, we are just beginning of that because these next six episodes are sure going to be a full load of fun. 
So I'm going to thank you for watching this video here. This will conclude it for the semifinal episodes. And we're going to get to determining those wild card spots throughout the next four episodes before we get to the grand final. So thanks for watching this video once again, and I'll hope and hopefully I'll see you next time.